All right, what is going on, everybody? This is YouTube. I'm live on Twitch right now. We had a bunch of people asking for questions about a bunch of stuff on my streams and in my YouTube comments, and I'm tired of answering the same dang question every single time, so I figured I'd make a video about it. So, obviously, the first frequently asked question is, after transferring, from Ignite server. This is the most asked question, by the way, because I think some YouTubers have been recommending this. Uh, should I do advanced honing before uh, transferring to tier four? Right, hello, YouTube. Yeah, say hello to YouTube, everybody. <laughs> hello to YouTube. Here, I'll show you guys for a quick second here. There you go. Hello, YouTube. Hello, chat. <laughs> All right, anyways. Um, okay, this is my number one asked question. And I swear I'm getting my throat strained from ask, answering this question every single time. So we're going to settle this once and for all, okay, guys? So when those YouTubers have said to advanced hone before transferring to tier four, this is only, this is only for veteran players. Why? Because once you transfer from Ignite server, all your honing materials disappear. So there is no point in dwaddling. Is that even a word? Dwaddling around in tier three. Just start farming materials in tier four. Okay? The reason why is because you do not want to delay getting the shards for tier 4. Those are your biggest bottleneck. Please, please, please just transfer, okay? I'm sure some of you guys who have asked this question, right? I'm sure you guys are here listening in, so get it straight here. If you are not a veteran, if you don't have a bunch of honing materials saved up, do not wait to transfer okay please just hurry up do your south curzon your north curzon whatever start doing behemoths you know get that 1640 because if you continue to stay at 1620 and then maximum 1630 with advanced honing you're still gonna get gate kept because everybody's bare minimum for gatekeeping is 1640 so even if you do all of your advanced honing you're still going to be gate kept so this is something that people haven't realized when giving this advice is that your honing materials disappear okay all right what other questions are there guys is there any difference on the mechs between ivory tower normal mode and hard mode no there are no differences in mechs between ivory normal and hard mode all right there, there's also more questions that people have asked but only fans when <laughs> All right, guys. Maybe some feet, feet only fans. All right. Um. Oh, also here. Okay. So somebody asked, "Hey, Andy, can I do arc passive?" Wait, I'll, I'll put it here. Can I do arc passive with full relic accessory? I think I spelled that wrong. Accessory and sixteen sixty item level. It depends on your class right because some classes have dog poop specs or dog poop sets like hallucination uh addiction nightmare these kinds of things you can read up more about it in like the docs i think it, it goes more into detail about that but there are some sets that are really really terrible oh Dom dominion's another one right these ones have a lot looser requirements for switching to arc passive because of how bad it is in tier three but things like yearning things like entropy these are really strong in tier three so it takes a lot of effort to boost it up does that make sense like to balance it with the arc passive so in my opinion just get two ancient gears minimum before you start playing playing around with it all right and that takes about three weeks of a gear normal so just wait three weeks right oh no you have to wait three weeks oh big deal right what else is there guys okay i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna pause this for a second 
All right, we just got a good question here. So is it worth to build 5x3 plus 1 for transferred Ignite characters or stay with Engraving Sub? And the reason why this is good is because this is directly related to gatekeeping, right? Are you going to get gatekept because of engraving support versus having a 5x3 plus 1? Now this depends, right? Because in order to beat gatekeeping, you need to satisfy a lot of requirements back to back to back, right? So in my opinion, this is just my opinion, but don't waste your money on getting 5x3 plus 1. It's usually not worth it. That's number one. But number two, even if you get a 5x3 plus 1, you're going to get gatekept for other reasons like transcendence, elixirs, your roster level, your card demon damage. These are all things that you will get gatekept on. So if your only purpose is for gatekeeping, then it doesn't matter. You're going to get gatekept anyway. Now, if your class benefits from plus one and you want it so you can feel how it feels like with a 5x3 plus one build, then if it's cheap, then I would. But if you plan on pushing to 1660 and farming a gear soon, then probably not because you'll unlock arc passive anyway. And then these accessories become obsolete, right? A good question. So another good question is when do you unlock T skill and hyper awakening? So somebody got bamboozled and apparently it's after completing North Curzon. And then the way to unlock it is you go to L need and right here, right here, you will see the uh, purple exclamation mark icon that will show you uh, the quest to get the Hyper Awakening. Is that cool with everybody? Everybody know that now? So yeah, finish North Curzon and then you'll find this purple exclamation mark. All right, good question, good question. All right, so Kiru asks, so shout out to Kiru, should you transfer right away at 1620 or stay on Ignite server for more time? This is a really good question. Okay, so I've had people ask me about transferring from Ignite before 1620. Now that one is 100% no. Always make sure you are getting to 1620 before you transfer. That way you get the 1620 transfer gift. That's the best gift you'll get. So you should probably wait for 1620. Now, should you transfer at 1620 immediately? This is different, right? It depends on your current situation. Do you have a lot of bound gold on Ignite? Then maybe you should wait to transfer because you should be doing all of your transcendence and getting some of your elixirs done, you know, using up all of those Ignite server gold before you transfer because that goes bye-bye, right? So why would you waste gold in Ignite server when you will never see it again? You might as well juice up your character to the maximum potential before you transfer it. Now, also, if you are 1620 and you haven't cleared Thaymine Gate 1, not even Gate 2 or 3, right? Thaymine Gate 1, then I would highly, highly suggest you to clear Thaymine Gate 1 in A9 servers before transferring so you could get that level 3 transcendence. Which reminds me, number six, people have been asking me, should I do all my raids? before transferring now i don't know why so many people have asked me this but this is just weird right because why would you do all your raids in ignite servers like did somebody tell you that the raids reset once you transfer because it doesn't i'm pretty sure it doesn't so you should definitely as if you finished your transcendence uh gate one you should transfer immediately at 1620 and just do the raids there so that the gold you earn is actually useful, right? Why would you use up all of your gold or your weekly raid count on Ignite server on a server that's not going to keep your gold? So it doesn't make sense, right? So yeah, that, that's one of the questions for that. Okay, I actually thought of something else here. So number seven is, do I have the seed the, the new player or returning boot camp thing to check 
you want to create your own lobby that is Voldus Plus. So any raid that is Voldus and higher, you check. This is the only way, I believe, to check. It's not going to show up on your name just like walking around in the city. You actually have to check in a lobby finder. So make sure you guys check to see if you are a seed boy or a seed girl. Okay, so Tom, Tom, I love you so much. Good job. So Tom says, number eight, how do you claim the 1620 chest after transfer? I got so many people asking me this, right? The answer, are you ready? Claim it on the Ignite server character because it's character bound. You will find it in the universal storage so where's the universal storage you go to guide right here click guide and then on top of pets you will see universal storage universal storage only pops up if you have something in it so as you can see i don't see it but for some of you you will see universal storage here just click on click on it and you will see your chest there all right oh another question another question that i i got asked right I am having trouble with currency exchange. I don't know what to do. All right, here you go. You go to shop. You got it. Thanks, man. No problem, Tom. See, this is why I make these videos. You go to here. You go to currency exchange, right? And everybody just checks here. You actually want to go to history. And then you want to claim both any remaining crystals or gold that you haven't claimed. As long as you claim all these, that's all you need to do. So that answered this question. All right, cool. All right, last and final one. Last and final one because I had some trouble thinking of the last one here. Last one is the Thamine Gates needed for transcendence levels. So what, what each tier is. So, Thamine Gate 1. If you clear Thamine Gate 1, you will have access to three flowers. Or not three flowers. It's a level three levels. Thamine Gate 2 means you will have access to six. Up to up to six levels. Right? You you reach the maximum of six. And then finally, they mine gate three. You need to clear that so that you get the. I'm just gonna skip all that. And oh, I need to, I need to mute that. Seven levels. YouTube friendly, everybody. YouTube friendly. So that's how you get every single level. And then yeah, behemoth is where behemoth is where you get the weapon transcendent, which uses a different material called a behemoth scale and i'll show you right here the thamine ones look like this dark fires but behemoth looks like this this is your weapon transcendent all right I, I think we're good if i need to make another one i'll just do a part two so that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and pineapple gang if you guys are still watching to this point say hi youtube in the comments so just say hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. Say hi YouTube, everybody. Show them your support too on Twitch chat. Say hi YouTube. And then I'll end this video. There it is. Goodbye, YouTube. That you guys are all seeing here. Hi, YouTube. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yep, there it is. Look at that. Everybody here. Hi, YouTube. Yeah, you guys are all in the YouTube video. There it is. There it is. Alright, goodbye, everybody.